welcome back everybody today I'm gonna do a little tutorial now I never really wanted to do tutorials per se but I thought that this was actually something that might be really useful for a lot of people and it's not too hard to do and it just gives you um, really quick access to your favorite websites so today everybody's so used to using their smartphone and just clicking on their smartphone icon base click 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 and it opens and so it's so easy to use and um, a lot of people uh, are missing that on the desktop and it's uh, I think that that's actually a real big drawback you know in terms of like um, uh, you know a lot of people going to a desktop for just ease of use especially younger generations for some reason but my cousin came in the other day and he saw that wow I I have a YouTube icon and I just double click it and it's gonna take me to my YouTube page and I did a double click it just that my Wi-Fi is very slow right now so eventually it's gonna take me to my YouTube page and it'll pop up there and so what I'm gonna show you how to do is uh, like for example a Facebook uh, shortcut so how do we do it uh, where do you get the icons from um, and is it hard it's really simple basically you go anywhere on the desktop that does not have an icon and you see my arrow, my pointer's right there. I'm going to right click. This is Windows 7 Professional 64-bit, by the way. But the process is very similar for uh, among all the Windows operating systems. And if you scroll down, we're gonna see new. Now, new isn't too big of a deal. You can make a new folder. You can do a lot of stuff here. What we wanna do is we wanna make a new shortcut. And we want that on the desktop. So we're gonna click shortcut. And let me, uh, uh, I hope that you can see this. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. So you can see we want to make a new shortcut. And it says, what item would you like to create a shortcut for? So basically, it wants, to, uh, it wants us to type in the location of the item. This can be something inside your computer. But in this tutorial, we're just focused on internet uh, uh, you know, shortcuts. So the location of the item in this particular instance is going to be a URL like HTTPS or you know www what we're gonna do is we're gonna just gonna do some very simple www.facebook.com oh, typo and we're gonna click next and what would you like to name uh, the internet shortcut we're, we're gonna we're gonna name it Facebook and simple as that, we're going to uh, click finish. Now, as you can see, the new shortcut pops up with a Mozilla Firefox because um, uh, Firefox is the default browser on this computer. So if you're using Chrome or Safari or whatever, or Opera, it's going to pop up with, you know, that logo. Now if we click this, it's going to take us um, directly to uh, Facebook basically. and. Again, I'm sorry, my internet is so slow today, I don't know why, but if we zoom out here, it's going to be Facebook. Now, basically, if you type in your email or phone and you put your, and I'm obviously not gonna do it, but you would type in your email or phone and you, if your settings are set to remember, then next time you click this icon, it's gonna open up and it'll bypass the login screen and your Facebook will open up with news feeds and everything like that. But because obviously I'm not gonna do that here, I just wanna keep everything private, it's not gonna happen. Now, what if you wanted to change the icon? And obviously you wanted to, because you, you don't wanna have a bunch of you know icons that look with a little Mozilla thing and just a description at the bottom. In this uh, instance, what you do is these pictures here these icons are on the desktop are basically little they're PNG or ICO files and uh, what an ICO file is it's just basically a graphics file specifically designed to be used as a desktop icon where do you find these things so we just want a so we're going to put ICO yeah, so you if you can see on top that I've actually just done a Google search for ICO ICO and we're gonna hit enter now ICOs there are a whole bunch of pages on you know with ICOs so there's even the top one the WTF is an ICO a lot of people don't know 
So what we want to do is we want to put, um, we want to search for a web page that has icos basically. So uh, you can type ICO or images. I maybe the best thing is to do a. We can do ICO desktop icon, and we, and as you can see, once the camera camera's having crazy time zooming on this, so we can do desktop icons for free. So why don't we click on that one? And then we have web pages that pop up, Icon Archive, uh, IconArchive.com, uh, all free, uh, download, blah, blah. You know, go through them and see which one, uh, you know, you like. There's plenty of uh, websites that uh, give you, uh, that provide icons. So we're gonna, so basically what we wanna do is we want, this is Icon Archive, for example. And so let me zoom out. And Icon Archive, and you see all these icons there. And what we really want is that, um, and you can buy icons too. Uh, there's popular and such. But for icons, actually, don't particularly work. We we really, really want an ICO if we can find them. So certain icons may may not work, but in in our uh, instance, we really do want an ICO. So we want to find. Uh, Probably Facebook. And we're typing it in and then let's see what we get. And there we go. So now, okay, so this is iconfighter.com. And just for the uh, sake of uh, uh, brevity, we're going to just find, you know, choose a simple Facebook icon. So now these icons are. You know, not exactly like the Facebook logo. They're off center. They're whatever. Um, um, but uh, basically, uh, you can make your own icon if you really, really wanted to. But like I said, just to you know, for the sake of functionality and brevity, we're just gonna download. Um, let's say the first one we saw here. Okay. And so I'm gonna zoom in and on this app, you know, so that you can see. So there are I options definitely. There are SVG, PNG, AI. There's more. We want more, and we want and so we see there's an uh, ICNS when uh, Apple OS X icon. So, but what we really want is the Windows icon, uh, icon so the ICO file, and we're going to when it pops up, we we're just going to save the file, honestly. So we're going to save the file, um, and it once it downloads, which it has, we're going to open up the the downloads and. It's going to be on top, and now it is on top. Square Facebook, and it's an icon file right here, 100 kilobytes. Okay, and so what we're going to do is we're going to now we know that it's in our downloads file uh, folder, and so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our desktop, and we see the Facebook um, icon. I'm sorry, the Facebook shortcut with the Mozilla Firefox icon in there. We're going to right click on that now. Now, by, by right-clicking on it, we're going to go to the Properties tab. And here we go. We, go, we see Web Document. And it says Change Icon. And that's what we really want to do. We want to change the icon. And now we want to browse for it. You know, And we know that's in our Downloads folder. So we're going to hit Browse. And we're just going to go to Downloads. And... Yeah, if we can scroll down there, there it is, the Facebook icon or the icon. We're just going to double click it and we're just going to hit OK. And we're going to, I'm sorry, on the bottom, hit apply. OK, now I'm going to close this and voila, we have a Facebook shortcut with the icon uh, that's fairly close to Facebook. So we double click it and it takes us back to Facebook. So that's a quick tutorial on how to do a desktop icon, you know, to take you to, you know, well, a really nice, easy way to take you to anything you want, like Netflix. So let me, again, show you how I have my Netflix up and we double click it and it's going to open up directly to my account. Again, some sorry, slow Wi-Fi and everything. But, um, oops, I d it didn't sign in on uh, 
I have my Netflix account signed in on um, uh, basically uh, Google Chrome, but not Firefox. But you get the idea. So now you know how to do a quick shortcut um, and replace the sh and how to choose an icon or an icon uh, to you know make the shortcut look nice and pretty. Any questions or comments, please post them at the bottom the video. Let me know if you guys want any other tutorials, you know, something simple like this, you know, I could do. And, uh, and I think it's really helpful. Cleans up your desktop and makes your uh, computer browsing experience a lot more fun and easy. Thanks for watching.